All right, that's the I end of public agree. comment. Who else? You got one more, is that it? Renee? This is crazy. Oh, Jay. Test it. Get him, Jay. Get him, low. <clears throat> Basically, on May 8, 2021, history was made, and you became the first black female mayor not rated into office in Dalton. It's as what a Dalton forward with a platform. A platform for change and an intent on moving Dalton forward. Instead, this administration has made Dalton the concern of the nation, if not the world, with a future full of uncertainties. In 2023, this high honor of yours, Mayor Henyard, became a public spectacle as you decided at the behest of the men you choose to be surrounding yourself with men who are un who understand criminality and not good government. You came to handle the people's business dressed as Nemo Brown movie crime boss and in turn gained the attention of the media in a way Dalton never deserved. Instead of highlighting the historic achievement that God gave you, you literally are going to uh, and, and to be the beacon of hope, especially to black women and black girls. This administration has been nothing short of an example of everything not to do. And you have hijacked the constituents procession to progress. In our investigation of the INA, and this is my lawyer like report. Our findings are becoming more clear as the days progress. We find this administration to be self serving, like the $1.2 million just ice rink, and not the gym of a fountain, or not repairing the gym of a fountain at the heart of the village. And you did it without board approval. Self enriching, enriching through charities and real estate ventures and kickbacks. Negligent at the end. At the continuous hiring of unqualified henchmen that are weaponized in government at your beck and call, complicit, not pressing your department to solve vital cases and your political allies to address allegations as egregious, even as sexual assault. Retaliatory, considering the amount of those seeking civil litigation as a legal remedy and oppressive, for example, not even being able to conduct a meeting where people are not in a hostile environment giving public comment for where they live. As, you, as the mayor, we found you to be derelict in your duties and you delegate, you delegate funds inappropriately, not at the best interest of the residents, but at yourself, leaving the people of this community wanting for better. And your leading has caused the concerns of your constituents uh, to think and burdens and tax repercussions in in your police are trying to kick me out for fake restraining orders that no one has however it's really simple you have lost the confidence of your yeah, residents I, uh, yeah, three minutes are up. I just residents that yeah, are in agreement to stand up. and give this mayor your, your three back three minutes are up your three minutes are up good job do everything good for job. clickbait all right, anybody else? Ah. Who else? Jed, thank you. All right, Renee, you have the mic. Here, you were prepared. Thank you. Thank All right, you. Renee, you I have love the mic. Thank you, bro, bro. Good job. Renee, Renee. Ladies first. They better get Who is Renee? Off of him. Okay. Go ahead. Now you have the floor. Yeah. All right. Good job, Jed. First of all, I feel that the people who have been speaking up till now have been doing an eloquent job of it. I did not put my name on a list to speak. However, I was told I had to put my name on a list to be in this building. But since you have called me out, I'm going to call you out. You're disrespectful. It's disheartening to see you. You have turned our whole community into, I don't want to use that word, let's say a circuit. The circus come to town, the clowns come out, and I'm looking at you guys, and I don't appreciate it, and I don't appreciate how you sit there and disrespect people and don't even give them the courtesy of looking them in the eye. I'm looking at you. If they don't agree with you, you don't look, you're disrespectful, and it's, just, it's sad. It's really sad, and I'm sorry that our village has come to this, and like I said, I have nothing prepared because my name was on a different list. But you want to call me out, let's do it. I don't understand why our I 
I don't understand that. And I don't appreciate that. Your house, probably not even in Dalton. So when the fire come and the whole town burn down, you really don't give a damn. Anytime you treat the firefighters that way, it's deplorable. And like I say, I don't have anything planned to say because everybody else does it so eloquently. But it is what it is. You did a great job. Armando. All right, anyone else? Who? Who is this okay. guy? Who is that guy? Keep your eyes on die on his page. Make sure they don't try to lock my bro bro up for some fake. You guys are out of order. Straight in order. Oh. Yeah. Oh, All right. Hi. Um, sorry guys, I'm nervous. I usually don't speak at anything. Um, and I gave everybody a chance to speak and say their piece. So I hope to have the same. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I have nothing against anyone on the board, not the administration, the clerk, or the mayor. I go by Burgundy Blue. I have counsel in the chat um, for doxing, so if you guys want to drop my name, that's doxing as well. So this is being recorded. Shut up. I'm the creator of Burgundy Stop. Blue Commentary. I'm also a Dalton resident channel on YouTube. I've been covering the happenings in Dalton since February 2024. I stuck my toe out there because I thought it was just one-sided and I wanted to, as a resident of this town for 38 years, throughout the years, I have always been a strong supporter of my community and I've actively worked for the betterment of our village. I even worked for the village myself. My focus has always been presenting a comprehensive view of Dalton, especially history showcasing all sides of our hometown through the ride-alongs and exploring. However, in April and May, I encountered harassment from an individual who came to investigate the mayor and Andrew Holmes. The person claimed to have received a call to come into Dalton from residents, elected officials, and law enforcement, which initially seemed innocent since they are, very, they are the very people tasked with safeguarding our community, right? This is all because I would not stop communicating online with a content creator that most of the board and lots of residents use his platform to address their concerns as well freely. His logo was even worn by an elected official. When the media or opinions could not be controlled, he became a target and then I, because I did not fall in line with the narrative. I did not attend a week called Hell Week and that's when my life became hell. In an attempt to okay, you address- order, let us- All right, give her time, give her time. In an attempt to address this issue, I met with trustee Jason. Hey, be quiet. To address this issue, I met with trustee Jason House and former trustee Ed Steve over breakfast, accompanied by a witness to share my concern. Trustee Jason House assured me that things will be taken care of within 48 hours. Sadly, he could not help me. And those 48 hours turned into a nightmare when I received a notice of impending action from the same advocate who's been here to save us. My privacy was violated as my personal information and business were maliciously targeted. A lot of y'all are in that group that did it. And I was subject to public humiliation and threats towards my family and associates simply because I chose not to conform. I quote the entire, I, I watched the entire visit, village, watched this advocate say he was going to make sure I was penniless. Okay. So I'm just three minutes to work together, and I'm asking for your help. Thank hey, you. Quiet down. What quiet help down. do you need? Order. Wait, let's stop. What help do she need? And Jedediah is in a room her right now, and she's not afraid. <laughs> the court will look at this and laugh at it for its face value. He's in the room with you, and you're not okay, afraid. Okay, who else is he? Is it anybody else? Okay, right, Madam Mayor. My name is Armando <laughs> Grundy. Armando Grundy Gomez. And I want to address something a little bit different, and I want to bring a little bit different of an energy, and I want to talk to process. I talk coming institutions, systems, actions, and behaviors, and not individuals. And I want to talk about what leadership is. Leadership is, is not talking about I, my, or me. Leadership is, we, we talk about if we're, we talk about how we are leaders, and we talk about how we love. We talk about we're about this faith and that faith, and we talk about we're identifying as Christians, and that we say we love. but it's the good book that you read and the God that you serve, it says, judge the fruits of the spirit. 
I cast my pearls not upon swine. Um, what I want to say to you is that it is interesting that I can be in one place in Washington, D.C. And every first and third Wednesday, I watch you all. And you're the best entertainment on YouTube. I love, love watching my brother Jed 